why Trump as funding threat to Palestinians is even more dangerous than Jerusalem move. Donald Trump as latest intervention in the Middle East peace process when he has already upended by recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital looks like being his most chaotic move yet. After appointing his son-in-law Jared Kushner as regional advisor and naming the fiercely pro-settlement lawyer David Friedman as his ambassador to Israel, the U.S. president has blundered from crisis to crisis in recent weeks. His speech recognizing Jerusalem as the Israeli capital breached international consensus and UN resolutions. But in the latest move a threat to cut funding to UNRWA, the UN agency that supports Palestinian refugees, and to the Palestinian Authority is more dangerous still, demonstrating a lack of understanding of the delicate mechanics that help maintain relative peace between Israelis and Palestinians. Parsing the Trump approach several things are clear. The current administration sees threats to foreign assistance as a means of leverage and views conventional negotiating strategies used by past U.S. administrations in the Middle East peace process as failures, with new tools required. What is also evident is that Trump and his advisers regard the moves at the U.N. Security Council and in the U.N. General Assembly to condemn the Jerusalem announcement as an escalation calling for a response. That response has hidden on some of the most sensitive pressure points in Palestinian society and the peace process more generally. The Palestinian camps run by UNRWA will contain many of the poorest and most disadvantaged Palestinians. It is in these camps, in places such as Ramallah, Nablus and Jenin on the West Bank and across Gaza that many of the most radicalized of the Palestinian factions reside. It was from these camps that the first and second Intifadas emerged and where both Fatah and the Islamist group Hamas were born. They are places that pride themselves both on their resilience and on being the conscience of the Palestinian national movement. Since the second Intifada the weapons still held by the factions have largely remained inside these camps, kept under control by the Palestinian security forces of President Mahmoud Abbas. The interventions by Trump and, hours earlier, his UN ambassador, Nikki Haley, what seemed to hit the twin poles of that fragile arrangement, UNRWA and the wider Palestinian Authority. There is another, more far-reaching impact. For years, the international community, with the U.S. at its head, has coup-proofed the Palestinian Authority, to use the term popularized by the political scientists.